torrential rains there was flooding everywhere but i managed to get through no problems on the little mighty cb125f my commuter to rain all last night as well so I'm bringing out the big dogs for the floods today I'm bringing out the CRF 250 rally so we shouldn't really have a problem even if roads are closed we'll still have a go hopefully we won't get held up too much by the cars because even if it's about an inch deep sometimes the cars forget they're waterproof and they get a little bit scared <laughs> the problem is you catch them up and you're trying not to stall the bike behind them. It's actually drained away quite well. Considering what it was like last night, it's drained pretty nicely. I say pretty nicely, compared to what I was expecting. Oh, this is what I mean about cars forgetting their waterproof. That was literally a tiny puddle. If it's really bad, this road floods. So this is my judgment. There's cars coming the other way, so I'm guessing it's not closed. When they close this road, it's usually pretty bad. Or should I say, when they've closed this road, it's the worst I've seen. Oh, it's closed. We'll have a go. We'll see what it's like. Might have been closed last night and then it subsided a little bit. So it's always worth having a little look. I might let the pickup truck behind me go first. <laughs> he can gauge it for me. No, nope, nothing. This is where it normally floods here. So it subsided quite a lot. All this is usually underwater. The thing I like about them closing all the roads for floods, especially when they're not that bad, is there's no traffic. It's brilliant. Right, that was my gauging road. That wasn't bad at all. So, should be a nice, easy-ish run to work. Famous last words. Well, so far, so good. The traffic has been very light. I wasn't expecting that. But then again, I suppose everyone's staying off the country lanes because of the flood warnings. I'm expecting Betchworth to be flooded and that road closed. So, if that's the case, that'll help me out a little bit with less traffic. If it's not flooded too bad, <laughs> that is. If it's like 10 feet, I might not have a go at that. But anything up to probably one and a half, two feet deep, this thing will get through it. I've been through worse off-road. Again, famous last words. I go arse over tit in the river. I did last year on the Africa Twin. More road about the cars on the other side drowning me with a wave so far so good lovely commute bone dry my hands are nice and toasty thanks to these oxford grips currently got the Howison jacket on and a Lindstrand bottoms with TCX boots and uh, these Arisha Gore-Tex gloves I've had these for years they're brilliant I mean they do leak a little bit in extreme circumstances but when it's like this, they're nice and warm, especially with the heated grips. 
There you go, public service announcement over. The water is nowhere near as bad as I thought it would be. But I am guessing the river's going to be quite high. It is, I can see it from here. <laughs> it's in the field. That's never a good sign. It's like watching Austin Powers. Deep. And my boots now fill up with water. I can stop the bike here because I don't think anything's following me. That's the deepest I've seen that side. So that side's going to be even deeper. But we'll have a go, we're stuck now. <laughs> Worst case scenario. I just drive the bike off and push it. I've got the AA. But yeah, that's the level of the river. Oh, my boot's full of water. Wow. See what I could do. Might be a little bit sneaky. On this brick here. So you do it? <laughs> yeah, that might have been even a little bit too deep for this. There's always a way on a motorcycle, there's always a way. <laughs> but the little 250 does its job again. <coughs> Jesus Christ. Coming head on at me at the flood. What's wrong with these people? Can you still tell where the middle of the bloody road is? Happen. Nearly got home dry. <laughs> oh dear. Get out your bags, get out my house. I don't want your stuff around. I never did you wrong, but you did me wrong. So go ahead, get, get gone. gone. Get out your bags, get out my house. I don't want your stuff around. I never did you wrong, but you did me wrong. So go ahead and get gone.